Hi, I'm Dan, software developer for RS2 and RS3. And today, we're talking about modeling dewatering using seepage analysis or using water pressure grids. Seepage analysis in RS2 works by applying known boundary conditions to parts of your model, and then RS2 will calculate the pore pressures for the remaining points. Now with water pressure grids, you can define total head, pressure head, or pore pressure grids for XY locations, and let RS2 use that to interpolate the pore pressures throughout your model. Dewatering is commonly used for modeling construction sites, so let's take a look at an example. For the seepage analysis on the left, we define a seepage battery condition at the bottom of the excavation to simulate dewatering. I also made the walls impermeable by adding an impermeable joint along the sides. On the right, I use water pressure grids by defining different grids inside and outside of the excavation. As you can see, using either method, we're able to calculate the drop in water table inside the excavation due to dewatering. Now this concludes modeling dewatering in RS2 using seepage analysis or water pressure grids. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below.